नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू सिक्स्थ एपिसोड ऑफ फ्लॉटर स्टेट मैनेजमेंट हीरो सीरीज अप अंटिल नाउ वी लर्न हाउ टू सेट अप रिवर पॉड एंड देन वी लर्न वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोवाइडर्स दैट आर अवेलेबल इन द रिवर पॉड फ्रॉम सिंपल प्रोवाइडर देन फ्यूचर प्रोवाइडर देन स्टेट प्रोवाइडर एंड देन इन द लास्ट एपिसोड वी लर्न अबाउट चेंज नोटिफायर प्रोवाइडर एंड up until then we have been using a quiz application for which we developed our own api using nestjs however in this episode we are going to look at stream provider and for that i am using my application from flutter calendar tutorial series where we are using firebase to save our events and here we are listening to events using this stream builder so i want to update this as this project already uses river pod i want to update this stream builder instead with a stream provider so let us see how we can use a stream provider for that here let us create let us first declare stream provider and we have already imported river pod so let's start final events provider equals stream provider so here we should return our stream and for stream we can copy this event dbs stream query list so this is how we can de declare a simple stream provider right now we are not passing any arguments we need to pass start date and first date and last date and we can get the user repository from ref so let's pass this this query so here query asks v2 and instead of context dot read we can use ref dot read right we can read the user repo provider using this provider reference here so this is how we can declare a stream provider however right now we are not passing the start date and end date we'll see that in a bit how we can do that now we'll see how we can consume this stream provider first let's see instead of stream builder what we will use here is consumer consumer and in consumer builder we get build context scope reader snapshot and let's make this watch and this will be a child now we can remove the, safely remove this stream let's just comment it out because later we'll need these query arguments now in the builder what we can do events provider equals watch sorry i believe the name is same events provider let's make this events provided watch events provider okay after this we are watching this stream provider now we can use this events provided dot when so there is a method called when and it has three different parameters data loading and error these are for three different states so when we have data we get a list of events in our data when it is loading we get nothing we can simply return center child 
central child circular progress indicator and then finally when there is an error we get error and stack trace so for now we'll just return there is an error all right and we can return this now we don't need this snapshot.has data and our events we already get from our provider now what we do is we copy all of these functionalities from here let's cut this and let's remove this and this should be written and paste it inside this okay no problem paste it inside here so let's remove this extra bracket now we can see that it's working however it is loading events all the events the event optimization we did before is not into effect but we'll see that how we can do that as well so let's see how we did until now we declared a stream provider using a stream provider and then we return any stream that we like from inside the provider using this ref we can read or watch other providers inside this stream provider so here we are reading user repo provider and users id and then in order to consume the stream provider we watched the stream provider and then in the watched stream provider we call a when method and when method has three different parameters first one is data so this this parameter or this function is called whenever the stream has data and then second one is loading whenever the stream is loading this method is called and finally when the stream has an error this error method is called so it's quite easy we don't have to check the snapshots we don't have to check errors manually all those things are easily handled using this when method next thing is we need to be able to pass this start date and end date as a parameter for our stream provider so that we can use it inside the stream provider to get events and how can we do that so we'll see another important feature of river pod so with every provider there is something called a family so we can do something like stream provider dot family okay and this family option is available with all other providers so what you learn here you can use it with other providers like change notifier provider state provider or even a simple provider so this family function can be used with any other provider available with river pod so let's see how to use this family so what family does is it allows us to pass one more parameter whenever we are calling our provider or watching our provider and we need to declare the type of that parameter so here with family what we can do is we can decide two types first it is the type of the stream provider for our stream provider the type is list app event and then the parameter so in the parameter we are only allowed to pass one parameter however we need to pass two parameters that is start date and in date for that we can use our own class so we can create a simple class that has class so let's say start end dates final date time start end and let's use this generate data class 
to generate data class. So we don't need these two maps, two JSONs, these kind of things here. Two JSON from JSON, we don't need this. So let's remove all of this. What we want is we want to override the equality operator. So if we do not override this equality operator, then this family when passing this as a parameter, it doesn't work properly. So here the type of the next parameter will be start in deaths and here in ref we get along with reference we also get start and in deaths. So finally here we can copy our arguments. So let's copy these two arguments. Copy and let's paste it here. And this first state should be start in deaths dot start. Okay. And last state will be start dead dot end. Okay. So we are able to pass this. Now, how to pass this? here while watching our stream provider. So now this is giving an error. We need to pass start in dates here. So we can use this syntax. So our provider can be called as a function when using provider dot family to declare the provider. So here we need to pass start in dates and the value will be sorry value here will be start will be first date and end will be last date okay so this should now work properly let me switch this and hot restart Once we hot restart, it should work properly. And here, in order to check whether or not this first state and last state is working properly, let's see, let's just load the event without adding these 30 days. So here, let's not subtract 30 days and let's not add these 30 days. Okay. So we'll load events for only one month. And if we check our November month has two events and December month has few events. So if we add a breakpoint here, when we get data, we can check whether or not proper events are loaded. So when we go to November, this event should only consist of events from November. So right now it consists of event from December. So if we switch to December, we can see that we have two events that are from December. And then if we switch to November, we can see we have two events from November. So we can be sure that our provider family is working properly. So let me just remove these breakpoints. Now if I hot restart, I can safely say that my provider and provider family is working properly. So, so this is how we can use stream provider as well as we learned how to use family and this family can be used with any providers. So it can be used with future provider, state provider, and then change notifier provider or simple provider as well. And all the other, other providers that are available like state notifier provider. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial and see you again soon in other tutorials.